Howdy. Um, I'm John, and this is my ninth, nope, eighth sketchbook tour. Well, it's my eighth sketchbook. It's my second sketchbook tour. If you guys want me to go through my other sketchbooks, I could totally do that. I'm also trying to talk quick, because I felt like I rambled a lot when I was filming, like, the actual sketchbook part of this. It's only 15 minutes long, only. I still, I don't know. I still felt like I talked a lot. So, yeah. Let's get into it then. Okay, um, I guess I'll start by showing you the cover. I painted this, you know, I decorated the cover myself. Um, this has started to like fall off, but it's a collage, you know. And I just started with this because I thought it would be like kind of cool to do something basic maybe for once. Anyway, this is a sketchbook from Arteza. I just bought it because I'm not like sponsored, <laughs> obviously, but yeah. Okay, um, so here's the first page. Pencil sketches some stuff. And like the first page is where I like keep my ideas stuff. This is just, you know, something from Pinterest and um, one of my boots. I drew one of my boots because I didn't really know what to do or what to draw. Okay, uh, the whole thing's not like this, but that's like another just, you know, portrait, but colored pencil and this is gouache, so yeah. This one is like, I was like designing a look thing, sort of, and that's fun. Um, <laughs> and these are some Polaroids I took that didn't really turn out that well. I thought I looked ugly in that one, so I put them in here. And I really like doing like pen on like a red background, so that's what this is. Then I um, did that like thing they do to test if you're like, I don't know psycho or, or like the ink blots the, the thing they don't actually do that anymore obviously um but yeah but like with red yellow and blue and these two were really fun this one kind of looks like a face but yeah this one maybe looks like boxing gloves and an eagle or a face and this one i don't know uterus maybe <laughs> yeah i don't really have any idea anyway some more stuff from Pinterest, and then I use stars a lot to like fill in the background, um, like background space, because I just think they're nice fillers. There's more pen on red paper. And um, wings and fries. This one is fun, it's just, uh, what is it? <laughs> oh yeah, alcohol marker and Sharpie on top. And then this is like silver acrylic paint and some like sparkly markers. And then, um, yeah, this is like some cheap acrylic paint. And that's a tattoo I did. And I'll have the person's Instagram who I copied this from in my bio in case you wanna check them out, so. Um, I, I do try to, like, credit, like, go back and credit the person, um, whose photo it is a lot if I'm, like, copying off of art, but a lot of times if I find it on Pinterest, it's kind of hard, so, um, I guess I'll also put my Pinterest, so if you want to look through the photos and see the references, you can. This is, you know, another desert landscape, which I love those, and this is James Dean, but it doesn't really look like him too much. And here's just, um, I was just like doodling, I guess, kind of, this is uh, my desk lamp. And same thing with this page. Um, I also, oh, I really like these star stickers. And this is like mostly like knockoff Poscas on this page, I think. And some like water-based marker. This one, I don't know, it's kind of gotten messy from being like together. You know, the page is like flipping together, but yeah. There's this, again, also not super in love with that, you know, but it's um, oil pastel, so that's the medium. This is also oil pastel, this is oil pastel background, and this is pencil. 
this is also pencil so I kind of also like the pencil on the red background I just like red backgrounds to be honest and this is I did this with the, the pen you dip in ink I don't know exactly what that's like called yeah I do oh my god I have it no I don't oh my god I'm feeling stupid for not remembering what it's called pen and ink you know do not shave your eyebrows because at that point I was like oh I'm really tempted to do it I didn't do it and I'm glad I didn't you know um I feel like I would just go eyebrowless most of the time and I would never have enough motivation to like actually draw them on this is like colored pen same thing with this and they're just on different colored backgrounds this is a tag I got from something I thought it was funny new fashion design style um more of those like colored pen drawings on acrylic backgrounds just a bunch of stuff some cutouts for magazines and whatever this is cool I cut out like you know in those like rock mining things you do sometimes where you like sift the rocks and they give you a sheet I like cut some out from that and put them in a rainbow order I don't like this I thought I thought it was good when I did the sketch but when I added the outlines I don't think I liked the way it became and this would be good, but um, I was using cheap acrylics, and so it's kind of hard to get, like, nice pure colors, and they kind of get muddy. Um, because the pigments aren't as good, I guess. This one also, they, like, transferred, but this is also more cheap acrylic stuff. And pencil on top of acrylic. Here's, I was just, like, testing out with color palettes and whatever, and I just put the things from my earbuds in here. This page is really fun, you know, it has a bunch of stuff going on in the background, but it's just blue pen over top of, like, paint. Then lots of stickers, um, this is a train I saw, this is a crane I saw, and this is also pen and ink. I think that's just what it's called, I think it's just pen and ink. Timothy Chalamet and pen and ink, and then I just, black background. This used to be a Sonic sticker, well it still is, it's just covered up now. And hopefully I said his name right. Anyway. I, I like this page. I like the colors of it. And so it's... I think it's like gouache. The pink is gouache in the background. And then it has like Tombos over top. And also some stuff from a magazine. And this is like um, India ink. But I used like a brush to put it on. And that's a tattoo I got. That's just some fun doodly stuff. Here's another one where I like transferred, but this is taking inspiration from something on Pinterest. But yeah, I really like it. That's supposed to be Jim Morrison. Doesn't really look like him. I just went in with pen, so it's okay. But I really like this. It's also using that cheap acrylic, just like like Apple Barrel, the equivalent of the Michaels brand of Apple Barrel. Um, and that's really fun. I, I think I keep saying that's really fun as like a filler. Sorry if that's getting annoying. <laughs> this is, this one is pretty cool. I wish the like and was more centered, but I do not like this at all. It's like smushed too much this way. Um, more doodly stuff. Here I started drawing like outfits that I was wearing and that was really something not using that F-U-N word, something enjoyable to do. <laughs> Here's another outfit. Here is something, I think, inspired by something from Pinterest, and that's gouache, and that's like Tombow marker. Same thing, outfit again, and then I was drawing my shoe, but my shoe's not actually purple, it's black, but I just made it purple for fun. There is like Mac DeMarco, but like dressed up as a woman from that one music video. Um, yeah. And that's the guy Tex from Boys in the Band, so. I like this one a lot. Um, it's a copy of another artist's work, um, but I think they're pretty well known, so, like, I don't know, there's not a weird, like, I'm stealing their work thing. 
you know? Anyway, I said I'll have it on my Pinterest. I think it's like that really well-known Western artist. Does stuff that looks like this. <laughs> Sorry. Song lyrics, dirty napkin, and just a bunch of filler stuff. And another one of those, what is it called? Western landscapes. I also really like this one. And I like like cutting out, I get like, you know, what is this? Brown paper grocery bags and then to paint on top of those. That's really fun. Here's a plan for a mural thing. I'm not gonna do that, like according to that plan, but you know. And there's another outfit. I really like this one. I like the colors in it. And I actually like the real outfit, so. I do not like this. I don't like the colors and I think the paint could be a little bit thicker maybe. I also don't like this, so. This is pretty fun. I was like going back through one of my old sketchbooks and I saw something like this and I was trying to copy it. And there's like that, I feel like this is pretty ubiquitous, just the um, gas station, like road stop thing. sketch of me just a random sketch uh, I tattooed that on my cousin but yeah she like forgot it was there and like scrubbed her foot and it got messed up so that sucks but it's okay <laughs> it's whatever and this is something I did for school um, it was supposed to be like we were supposed to be doing Pablo Picasso and then you like turn something into something else and something into something else. So it started out as like a palm tree and now it's one of those like balloon dudes. More Pinterest stuff. That's gouache. This is like marker. Um, here I was like at the lunch, I was like at eating with my friends and I um, was like drawing them, but like in funny ways. So there are them, and that's me. This also, I think, was like, had a good start, but I just added too much to it or something. I don't know. And that's fun. It's also like my outfit, but in, in just weird proportions. And that's a self-portrait. Um, I had like makeup on like this at the time. It wasn't all pink though. It was just the green and yellow, but um, I like mess the chin up. The chin is like too pointy or something. And these eyes are fun. Oh my god! There it is. Again. Fun. <laughs> okay. James Dean again. Um, an outfit. And this is also alcohol marker and Sharpie. And then I did some like... Uh, these are things I saw just like around when I went to the beach and then I got home and I like I had this book on how to draw boats and then I drew some boats from it this is something I did for like school and that's a bad self-portrait where I wasn't like looking at myself or something and I look much more intimidating than I actually am this is cheap acrylic and this is also cheap acrylic and that was good but then I like didn't finish it and here's some stuff I like doodled while I was waiting for my exam to start because I was just so stressed and I guess drawing kind of helped. Some shoes. Uh, pen drawings and that is Sharpie. And this was like, this is acrylic. I did this, like I, I started it with the intention of it being really good but I got super frustrated it, frustrated at it and honestly it turned out really bad so I mean that's what help happens when you're not patient and it was kind of it kind of took away my motivation for a bit just I went out and I doodled some cars I saw I think this one's really cool because the perspective uh, twink and twink number two um, then here's a pen drawing also and there's this from where my friend and I did that thing where you like hand off the paper every two minutes or whatever. Okay, it's still in frame. Ah, there we go. So 
Same thing with this. This is also a Marco Sharpie, and this is all like Tombow. I love this page so much. Wow, it's great. There's that dude, uh, the one who's not named Ennis. Jack, is it? From Brokeback Mountain? Anyway, that movie, so sad. I was so sad, I'm so sad about that. Here's some stuff for AP art. Don't look at it, don't steal my ideas. There. This is gouache and I also really like this piece, like, a lot. <laughs> I think the colors and just like the lines and stuff are really cool. More stuff for AP art and there's a self-portrait that looks nothing like me. I hate this, because I was like rushing towards the end. There's just a doodly thing. Uh, um, more doodle stuff and then at the end of every sketchbook I do this thing where there's Mr. Worm and Mr. Crab and they like interact and talk about how the sketchbook was and it's like my my thoughts but like they're saying my thoughts and here's the swatch page which I always think is really cool at the end and there you go that's that all right back again for the outro I do want to say I know my hair looks silly I would feel embarrassed like if I didn't say that um because I would normally just like wear this hair I'm trying to grow it out right now is what's up but I have big plans for my hair so yeah so for the next video I could do like a sketchbook tour uh, like an older one like I said or I could maybe do a room tour but if you want to suggest something in the comments highly appreciated um and yeah have a great one and thank you so much for spending the time to watch my video. Bye.